Victorian era programmer? How is that possible? Hi, I'm Marsha, I'm the Coding Blonde, and I'm in St. Petersburg. Did you know that the first programmer in history was a woman? Not just some woman, but Lord Byron's daughter? For me personally, that was the biggest discovery. Her name was Augusta Ada King, the Countess of Lovelace. To put things into context, Lord Byron was a genius poet who was well known not only for his talent, but also for his controversial lifestyle. Someone who knew him described him as mad, bad, and dangerous to know, which I'm not sure you want to be known as. In the year 1815, he married Annabella Milbank. And while their marriage was really unhappy, it resulted in Annabella giving birth to Lord Byron's only legitimate child, Ada. The marriage only lasted for a year. And after the couple separated, Lord Byron left England to never return because of the pressure from his scandalous affairs, debt, and a failed marriage. He traveled around Europe, hung out with Percy Shelley and his wife Mary Shelley, who wrote Frankenstein, had several romances, and wrote some of his most well-known works, such as, for example, Don Juan. Lord Byron died of fever in 1823 while fighting for Greek independence from the Ottoman Empire. His death was mourned all over Britain and his birthday is still celebrated across the UK. But back to Ada. Ada was only a few months old when her parents separated. She has never met her father, but it was obvious that she has inherited some of his talent, something that her mother was really afraid of. Because she was afraid that her daughter would take off to her father and go insane. So the girl's education primarily focused on mathematics, logic and science. The subjects that her mother considered to be the opposite of poetry. It was only natural that Ada developed an interest in her father and described her own approach as poetical science. The girl was really smart and talented, which was obvious when she produced a design of a flying machine at the age of 13. Her mathematical education and upbringing weren't conventional. In fact, her mother had quite extreme methods. For example, she would make Ada lie still for an extended period of time as she believed that this way the girl would develop self-control. Now, who's insane here? When Ada was 17, she met the man who would change her life. No, unfortunately, there isn't a love story involved here. As two years later, Ada married William King, a man who was 10 years older than her, and who got a Nobel title soon after, making Ada the Countess of Lovelace. Ada's and William's marriage was happy and peaceful because William was smart enough to let his mother-in-law, Lady Byron, to direct their life and fortune. The couple had three children, loved horses, and hung out with the brilliant minds of the time, including people like Charles Dickens. And the Earl of Lovelace was mostly supportive of his wife's scientific interests. But back to Charles Babbage. Science wasn't officially considered as a profession, so Charles was known as a gentleman scientist, an independently wealthy amateur, well able to support his interests from his own means. Ada and Charles met at a party when Ada was 17 years old, and at the time, Charles was working on the difference engine, an elaborate calculating machine. He showed Ada a small working part of it, and it fascinated the young girl. Charles became her mentor and a lifelong friend. Both of them had unconventional personalities and shared a passion for science. Babbage grew really fond of Ada and often described her as the enchantress of numbers. Without finishing the difference engine, Charles planned to work on a new and a more complex machine called the analytical engine. Due to sponsorship problems, the project was financed from abroad. Soon after that, an Italian mathematician Louis Menebra published an article about the machine, which Ada then translated from French. And because Ada knew so much about the machine, Charles Babbage asked her to expand the article with her own thoughts and ideas. And when her work was published in an English science journal, it was three times longer than the original text. Ada's theories included thoughts on how codes can be created to process letters and numbers, as well as repeating a sequence of instructions which is now known as looping. And for that work, Ada is considered to be the first programmer in the history of computer science. Unfortunately, her later work wasn't as groundbreaking as this paper. Ada died aged 37 from uterine cancer and was buried next to her genius father that she never knew. The analytical engine was a step forward towards the modern day computer. However, the project was never completed. But a couple of decades later, Alan Turing, the inventor of the Enigma machine and another father of the modern day computer, found Ada's notes critical to his work. And around half a century later, a programming language was named after Ada Lovelace as a sign of respect for her and for her work. I find it super inspiring to hear about these strong female role models, especially when there's so much history involved. Once you put things into context, a whole new world appears in front of you and you start visualizing people of the time. I hope you've enjoyed Ada a story. Subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss the next video about strong female role models. Bye! I feel really old. Good and people will bye. Lord Byron was a genius. Look, there's like a carriage.
And it looks like a Cinderella carriage. It's so cute. Okay, now I'm in St. Petersburg. Now it's complete. It's complete. Ada's theories included horses. They liked horses. It resulted in it resulted in Lord Byron giving birth. It was only natural that Ada. Oh, there's another horsey. I'm in heaven. <laughs>